right, so for our Sun prints week, these are the supplies that we'll have. We'll have a tray, we'll have an acrylic plate, we'll have sun print paper, we'll have various, um, uh, you know, shapes and objects that they can place on their paper, or they can go pick some um, leaves from the surrounding area. I don't know that we have a lot. We'll take a look when the time comes, but if they have something natural that they want to, want to use, um, the plate is good to keep it flat. I only have two plates, so we'll need to rotate students using those if you decide to do that. Uh, so let's give this a couple of minutes and we'll come back. Okay, so the paper is now a very pale blue. It's really more of a white, so we are gonna take it over and um, give it a rinse. So I went ahead and removed the objects from the paper and I'm gonna put it in the water. Oh, I didn't put very much water in here, but I'll put it in the water. These will be the tubs that we use. They'll have more water in them for just about a minute. And um, I won't be on campus for this week, so if you could please bring a towel for your class to put their um, items on, that would be great. We have one page per student, one sun print paper per student. Then here are the instructions which there will be a copy out there for you. And if you are not on my campus and you want to see um, the other instructions that came with it, it gives you some um, tips if you don't have an acrylic plate or if you don't have a tray that you can use corrugated cardboard, pins, and saran wrap. So lots of ways to do this and to keep everything um, in place. All right, so here is our beautiful sun print right there. And as it dries, it will begin looking more and more like it did when I first took it out. And you'll be able to see a lot of detail on there. So I'll come back in um, a few, maybe in about an hour when it's dry. I just wanna show you some of the things I have in this bag. Um, we have some buttons, we have some nature cutouts that are foam, we have some other felt shape cutouts. That bunny would be pretty awesome because I think you'd be able to see the nose and the eyes. That would actually be really cool. Um, or this little chickadee if you wanted to go ahead and pop out these other items or those other things. The plastic leaves, I got, I got these at the dollar store. And, uh, when my kids were itty bitty and we've used them for so much again you can pop out these um, things in the middle so we have lots of foam shapes for um, for use as well as um, a few buttons and hopefully you guys can bring in some lace or any other items that you have around the house keys would be really fun um, oh I don't know get creative ladies and bring some stuff in if you'd like to share as well. Cece Livermore, when you are done, if you could please um, put all the supplies back into, I'm actually gonna have another tub that will have the supplies in it because I think that will be easier to um, sort through the supplies. So put all the um, these pieces back in the tubs and um, just clean up your area. If the water's looking Yuki, will you please have a parent go dump it out and replace it? And we should fill the tub up. Um, I'm thinking about either a third or a half, somewhere in between there, a third and a half. We don't want too much water because we don't want a big mess. And yet we need enough that it covers the whole bottom of the tub. All right. Okay. Oh, look here. This is what it's starting to look like now. It's still wet on this side. But as it's drying, the image is um, the image is coming through. All right, I'll show you one at the end. So this is after a couple of minutes. The paper, you can barely see the image, but I know it will come back after it dries. So I'm just showing you what it looks like um, while the paper's still wet and the image has faded. All right, here is the sun print paper now dry. You can see that. Um, the paper was light and the image was dark when we pulled it out of the sun and it since has reversed itself. 
Um, I left this to dry outside and it flew around and got really dirty. So this is not the best quality. Um, CC Livermore Tutors, when you are done, you'll take your towel and put it in the foyer. That way they have a chance to dry flat and away from the wind. Um, some talking points. The role the sun plays on the earth, the power of the sun to um, heat the earth, to help things grow. And we're using special paper that reacts to the sun. Um, one, one way to tie this into um, kind of a spiritually is that um, our soul and life is a little like this paper in the way that being in the word and, and being in the presence of the son of God truly leaves an imprint on our hearts and souls that is actually visible to others. It changes us. God's word does not return void. It imprints itself on our minds, heart, and souls. And um, one of the verses that my family just loves is Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I'm sure there are other verses that would go with this week as well. And if you want to put them down in the comments, that would be awesome. And I think that is all. You guys are so great. I just love you and thank you. You are doing more than enough. You are blessing our families beyond expectation. You are absolutely fulfilling um, a kingdom purpose through your time and investment in these kids and in the classes and in the parents here at, and in the community on our campus. So thank you, ladies. I treasure you and value you.